You just heard Lil Boosie in the video say he got banned from Planet Fitness because of his views or his take on Dwayne Wade's son Zaire, or Zion, excuse me, uh, about cutting his private area ball from wanting to be a full-fledged woman at 12 years old. Let's talk about it. We back. Good fellow sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. One, I don't know nobody that's really trying to get in, in real shape and trying to get strong and go to Planet Fitness, all right? Planet Fitness is somewhere you go with your lady, y'all go to work out to get strong, but you don't, y'all to get fit, but you don't get strong at Planet Fitness. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no real free race there. You drop the dumbbells, they hit the siren, you say, eh, they hit the siren. So, I don't know, no real workout, you know, people, workout words to go to Platinum Fitness to get strong. They might go there to pick up women, because it'd be casual women. They serve pizza in there. How are you supposed to be in shape and they serve pizza? Platinum Fitness is perhaps the worst, um, you know, fitness chain in America. All right, but this is what he said. Manager who was gay refused to let me in Platinum Fitness because of my past actions on social media about gender, etc. Do not support Planet Fitness, Highway 138, Johannesburg, uh, Jonesboro, excuse me, Road. They racist. They have roaches in their showers. Water don't get hot. Get out your feelings, little, you know what? Hashtag Roach Fitness. Hashtag Roach Fitness. Roach fitness. <laughs> they got roaches. B, you want a gay child, but don't nobody want to have a baby for your sissy, but now you, now you mad. <laughs> so, Boosie went all the way in on this one, all right? This is his point of view, um, and it's your opinion. You know, they can have an opinion and call black people the N-words and call us monkeys, and they can, you know, make fun of uh, Sabo faces, and they apologize, but don't nobody ban, you know, Gucci, or don't nobody get, ban no races from going into that Platinum Fitness or going into that grocery store or being patrons, all right? They don't ban them for what they say about black people. They don't ban them on their views on us. You don't see nobody banning Donald Trump from coming in and getting a steak or, Don or banning Donald Trump coming in to get no clothes, even when he ain't president no more based on his views, all right? So at the end of the day, it's his opinion. You know, everybody want to be sensitive and all this stuff, but in the Bible, and most of these people claim to be Christians, claim to be biblical people, and the Bible said don't do it, all right? It's against it. It's his opinion on it. He didn't say nothing, you know, out of left field. He just said when he get old enough, then he can make his own decisions at 12 years old. He don't know what he want to do yet. You know, they don't even know what they want to eat. He right. I agree with him on that. It's not about him being gay or, or, or what he choose to be. You never know. He might get some and want to, and want to go, you know, coochie mama crazy and end up liking women. Basically, Gucci, I mean, but basically what Boosie said is at 12 years old, you're not sure what you really want. It shouldn't be in cement. All right. You should get a pencil or, or a pen, erasable pen. That's what life is about then. It's people at 29 years old that don't know what they want. You know, at, one, at 21, she has a girl can have three babies with a guy. And at 29, now she only want to date women now. And then at 35, now she want to date guys again. So you got people that's twice his age that don't know how to make up their mind. All he said is at 12 years old, don't let him chop his thing off. Let him live life. And when he of age, when he ready to make that decision off his own merit, when he mature enough and he thought it out, then you let him make that decision. Okay. But as far as that's all he said. People got in their feelings, that, you know, and it's, it's a fact. And people say, oh, yo, man, Boosie need to worry about his kids. No, it takes a village to raise your kids. That's when kids, you know, grew up and be, and be somebody. When everybody, when you do something on the block and everybody beat your butt up and down the block or everybody carry you home and and, and tell your mom to your dad what you did wrong, it takes a village to raise a kid. And as brothers and as men, we should hold, be able to hold each other accountable. And everybody know Dwayne Wade wrong. You know, ain't no, ain't no way at 12 years old you should know that. You you should want to even think about that. You should be playing with, with toys and bikes and razor scooters and stuff of that nature. You should be, you know, enjoying life as a kid. But you want to wear press on nails and all that. Come on, man. They only doing that to black people. You don't see nobody white kids out here doing that at that young, at that age. So y'all need to wake up. Boosie is just holding them accountable. And as black men, sometimes we got to hold each other accountable. He don't like it, Dwayne Wade, know where he can find Boosie at, you know what I'm saying? But let me know what you guys think. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you have a business question, call, response, share, video requests. Keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation to the channel, that link's in the description. Best way to donate is share, share the video. Let me know what you guys feel about uh, Boosie and Platinum Fitness and the whole situation. You know, the manager got his opinion. Boosie got his opinion. It's a thousand better gems out there, trust me. One time for the one time. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow, Goodfellow Sports TV. Much love, respect. And keep supporting the channel by sharing the video. We gone.